Okay, so really quick right here, guys. I just wanted to show you more uh, more of the, the, the paper that I like to use for the charcoal paper. This is uh, Strathmore. It's a charcoal paper that really, it I, I think it's really good, especially if you're trying to do quick sketches or some type of drawing. Uh, duh, right? We're drawing, but but it's it's just it's just really cool. I really like it. It's not too thick. Let me see how. And this size is perfect. This size is really good. This is uh, where's the size? Right here, nine by twelve, nine by twelve inches. Very cool stuff. Let me show you. It's got that tooth, of course, right? Because it's for charcoal. It's got that little grid. That's to keep the that's to keep the charcoal from falling, right? It grabs onto it. It's sort of a, a, a like a prime with to paint, like prime to paint. It doesn't have it on the other side, just uh, just on one side. I really enjoy it. It's perfect for the sketches, for the for the drawings, the ideas. This is a wave for a painting, seascape. It's a wave. Uh, koi fish. I think it's a koi fish. Yeah. But it's perfect for the for the ideas, right? You're ready to create some artwork and you don't know what to do and you're like, man, I don't know what to do. Here, I have the cure for that. Start doodling a hundred of these. You know, start with 20 or whatever. Start doodling, doodling, doodling. And then and then you start getting those ideas. Most people want to have the idea right away. They're like, man, I want to paint, but I don't know what to paint. And I wish I had an idea. Uh, it's been my experience that volume volume of things creates quality. So, check this out. This is another idea for a painting. So I just do dozens of these a day. This is the way I roll. This is a uh, nude laying on a bed. It looks, appears to be a, a bed or something like that. I just want to show you guys the, the, the simplicity of this uh, stuff. Oh, there's a shark. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there's a little sailboat right there. Some houses right by the beach. Little sailboats. I really like using this this paper. So there you guys have it. Some of you have asked me what type of paper I use, what materials I use for for charcoal, and this is it. Okay, it's the Strathmore charcoal. Unless uh, an awesome company someday, it's like, dude, we have something better. You're gonna use it for free, and you're gonna talk about us. Uh, I'll probably go wear that <laughs> before I sell out. <laughs> it's really inexpensive too. Like I mean, you can get it at just about any any place. There's a your local art store or a Blick Blick Art Materials. Those of you who have asked me, dude, where you buy all this art stuff? I buy it off of Blick. A lot of stuff that I buy it's off of Blick. It's uh, b l i c k dot com, and I think they're the the, the biggest uh retailers of of art supplies i think they're the biggest ones online and and it's really cool because they got everything they're going to send you a book if you purchase something they'll probably send you a book and, and a catalog book i like the paper catalog books up over the online because it's more uh i don't know maybe i'm old school anyways guys thank you so much i hope you enjoy this little segment what paper i use for uh charcoal drawings and this is it all right keep uh keep doing your work Keep doing your work. It's the only way. Take care. Adios, amigos.